Hi, this is Mike. Uh, welcome back to my pulse motor generator. And I'm um, just going to do this quick little video to show you what I'm up to. Um, I've been experimenting with a lot of uh, capacitors. So I uh, made a few capacitor banks here. I actually soldered onto a perf board. And I'm all soldered up there. Got one bank there. I got another bank there. So I've got quite a bit of a storage there. Also been toying with some uh, uh, super capacitors, and I'll be hooking it up to my pulse motor generator. And I was doing some testing with these guys last night, hooking them up, and I was noticing that um, if I shut the motor off, the amount of power that I had stored up in these capacitors was actually running the light for an extra, I would say almost three minutes afterwards. So what I plan to do, Eventually, I'll have, probably have to get a bigger capacitor bank, but the plan is is have one capacitor bank run in the motor while the other capacitor bank is charging, plus the excess power that the motor generates because now the motor is officially over unity. I'm getting excess amount of power than what I'm actually using to charge these up. So for the first part of the cycle, <clears throat> I would use a 12 volt battery or a power supply to get it running, charge up this bank. After that charge is bank, disconnect the battery, run the motor on the first bank, and then as that uh, this bank here is running the motor, it's now charging up this capacitor bank. While it's doing that, it's also sending out extra power to run whatever load you have, charging batteries or running lights or whatever the case is. And what I plan to get is an uh, electronic uh, relay timer, so I'll be able to time intervals between the two, so I'll be able to switch from one capacitor bank to the other. So the goal is, now that the uh, pulse motor is actually over unity, I wouldn't need batteries anymore. It would just be alternating from this capacitor bank to this capacitor bank back and forth, and the excess power would be used to run a load. So that's the ultimate goal. So I got this capacitor bank here. I got them on a perf board, soldered them all up. I know it's pretty ugly soldering, but for testing it works, as long as it works. And I got that all soldered up too. So I got these two banks. I'm going to hook them up tonight and try them out. So, yep, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you give me a thumbs up. And we'll see you very soon.